Hello everyone, this is Walter from Wix Ideas and in this Wix tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add a scrolling text to your Wix website just as you're seeing right now. You might be amazed to know that this feature you see right now can be done completely without any single line of code. And I'm going to show you how you can design something like this or even better using a free tool with any kind of design that you might actually want and branding it to your website's brand. Alright, so if you're excited to join me in this tutorial, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, click on that like button and also don't forget to turn on your bell notification to be the first to know when I release future videos like this. You can also let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or any video requests now let's jump into our editor all right so this is the editor where i'm going to be adding the effect to and this is for a magician called Sven Sagin. and what i want to do is to go ahead and add a promotional scrolling text for him for his website so i can simply go ahead and add a new section now if you do not have the latest week's editor yet you might not see the section part but you can always go ahead and use a strip so let's go ahead and add a new section click on add new section and I'm going to add a blank section. Now the blank section is where I'm going to add an element that is going to allow me to use or add the scrolling text. So the element I'm going to be using for this tutorial is the Wix Pro Gallery. So go over to the add elements there and go over to the gallery. Now you can see that there are tons of gallery effects that you can use. But the one I'm going to be making use of is the grid. So I'm going to show you how you can customize this grid to your website. Now you can see I've dragged that element and I have just moved it to that section and as you can see it highlights there to attach to section now that is going to allow the gallery to attach to the section when it has fully loaded all its content awesome so you can see that has automatically adjusted to the height of the gallery awesome so now let's go ahead and make sure that we stretch this across the width of our website to make it a full section so as you can see this is looking all good and that is the reason why it looks like it starts from the very end of this browser up to the very end of this section all right let's move on to the next step go over to your settings and over at your settings you want to go to layout then go to your slider and here you can customize your layout we want to make sure that the thumbnails are resized and they fit on the screen and then next you want to go over to loop images so this will allow you to repeat the images and the next thing we want to do is to add a slide automatically so it should slide on its own no interaction is needed to make it slide and we want to make it a continuous scroll so this is like a smooth scrolling effect and then this is the slideshow speed this is how fast it slides i like mine to be at 100 but you can always increase yours to make it faster awesome the next thing you want to choose is to pause and hover i like the pause and hover that is going to allow visitors to actually pause it to read what is written on it and the next part is design settings so as you can see we have a spacing between each of these images but we don't want to have that so let's go ahead and change that to zero to remove the spacing and we're going to go over to the settings so the settings this is where you choose if you want it to have a link or you don't want anything to happen when people try to hover on it for me i usually like to have a link or have nothing happen so let's choose a link and in the link we're going to go ahead and manage the link later on in this tutorial you want to scroll down to social settings and you want to make sure that the heart icon is removed want to go over to design and make sure that the overlay also is changed to zero and then next thing we want to do is to go over to the text make sure that none of the text displays are showing for example the title and description we also want to go to the buttons and make sure that there's no button allowed there we also want to make sure that the navigational arrow are removed all right so let's go back to the item settings there is nothing much to do here just leave it as it is right now and then the next thing also to check out is to make sure that your scroll is selected because this is going to give you the nice scroll that we have now we want to make sure that the height is not as tall as it is right now so let's drag this upwards to the height that we want it to be now this is the height i want it to be and i'm going to show you the next step on how you can actually add the design and the customization of the text that you're going to upload into this gallery to make it your own now let's go to a tool called canva.com it's a free website that allows you to design any kind of graphics for free for this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to use the free version to accomplish this you are free to use the premium version but if this is your first time using canva.com you can always enjoy their 30 day free trial to check out how they are premium features work now what you want to do is to go ahead and sign up to a free account and then go over to your create a design 
and we're going to go over to custom size and the custom size is going to allow us to choose how wide the image is going to be and how tall it's going to be mine i've already have a preset which is 1754 by 75 1754 is how wide it is and 75 is how tall it is so let's go ahead and click on that now once we come to our canvas you can see that this is actually a wide canvas and it's just short enough to fill up the space that we have here now you can see this is beginning to take on the shape you also want to go ahead and call it a name now you can see from here i've called mine Sven Sagen on tour so you can also do that and say Sven Sagen on tour amazing so once you're done with that you can go over to the text section here and you can choose any kind of text that you want to use now these are text that are preset and you can make use of any of these for free or you can go ahead and choose your own font and then customize the font the way you want it to look once you have added that font you can go ahead and drag it and make sure that it's big enough to occupy the space that we have on our canvas and the next thing you want to do is to add the kind of text that you want this is simply like Wix, but just for design so let's go ahead and add Sven Sagan on tall amazing so that has been added and you can go ahead and stretch that across make sure that everything shows in one line and if you want to align this you can always align it to the left i'm going to leave mine the way it is right now and just make sure that it's not too wide to occupy the entire space awesome so this is looking good and the next thing i want to do is to choose a very pretty font for it so let's click on this text element go over to this section and then you can search for a bunch of free fonts that you can use so these ones here that have the crown are premium fonts but you can also benefit from a bunch more beautiful fonts that are there for free so i already have one which is called the bukaki font and i really love this font so as you can see i have applied this font by simply clicking on the font and then you can go ahead and stretch that make sure that it's back to the way it used to be and we also want to duplicate this one more time so to duplicate it click on the text right click on your mouse and over here you can see duplicate now duplicate that and then drag it to the section where you want it to be now this is looking all perfect the next thing to do is to start adding those beautiful things like the potion and the magic book so let's go ahead and look for something a magician would possibly have in a promotion. So I already made an example before and this is what I'm going to use. I'm just going to simply drag and drop the recently used items or elements that I have already used before. But you can feel free to search for anything that you want. For example, magician. Now once you search for that, it's going to show you graphics, photos and videos. So you can always go to see all graphics and then from here you can choose all the kind of graphics that you want to use. Awesome. So I'm back to this page now and what I want to do is to continue using my recently used. I'm going to drag this portion to the section of my canvas over here and just place it just between those separators. It's going to act as a separator but in a fancy way. And then I have a burning the heart also, which I'm also going to add to the very end of this other section to add it as a separator, also in a fancy way. And remember that this is actually a call to action kind of thing. So as you can see, when you hover on this, it pauses. But let's say you want to add a link to it and you want people to be able to click on this. You want them to know that they have to click on this. Then what you want to do is to add an action that tells them to click here or an arrow that allows them to actually click. So I'm going to drag this arrow here that I really like. I'm going to drag it onto this section and just expand it so that people will know that they have to click on that arrow to go to a link amazing about to export it to our Wix website but we have one more problem if you're using the free version you're not able to remove the background so that is an issue we have right now and to solve that problem very easily all you have to do is to change the background of your canvas and export it to your website now the background we are changing it to is the background of the section where it's going to be now you can see here that the color of where it's going to be is just this one so go ahead and click on it go to change strip background go to the color and then over here at the color picker you can see that there is a color being selected already copy that color that hex code and you're going to bring it back to your canva now click on your background again and then go to change background color click on this plus sign here to add your own color and then paste in your color now once you're done you can see that this is looking just like the website background is looking now let's go ahead and make this text visible again by clicking on the text and going over here to text color and change that to white do the same thing for the other one and also change that to white now for the arrow also you can change the color of the arrow so go over to the color and you can also change that to white now this is looking perfect so what i want to do right now is to go over to share and then go to the download and then here you can see this is 
is the png go to the download and download it as a png it's not going to remove the background because we didn't select that option as you can see it is a premium feature to add a transparent background but that is just going to export it the way it is right now so back in the wix website go to your gallery click on manage media and we're going to find all the preset images that we've already added go to select all and delete then go to add media and over here go to image now drag and drop this image onto your media manager once that is uploaded go over to add to gallery amazing so you can see that that is taking the shape that it's supposed to click on this one more time and over here you can change the title description alt text this is going to help your seo and then you can always link this to a page on your website if you have a link so you can link it just like you link a button element you can always link it to anything that you want external website external link phone numbers emails and many more so go over to done and then over here click on done now once you've added it's going to take a little while for the image to upload and as you can see the image has uploaded successfully now let's preview this and take a look at how it looks like amazing so now we successfully have a scrolling text with beautiful graphics on our Wix website when you hover on this you can see that it has paused and there is actually a link here that when you click on this is going to bring you to the page now when you hover on this you can see that it pauses but the pause is not really smooth and we want to make sure that it person is small just as this one is right here now the simple solution to this is to go back to your editor click on the element again and go back to manage media and what we need to do is to duplicate this up to five times so what you want to do again is to go back to your media manager and upload the image again so here are the image up to five times amazing so now i have the image uploaded up to five times and you want to also go ahead and change the description and every other thing here and adding the link to all of the elements here so let me just go ahead and add only the links we can also do well to change the description but i think those ones are doing well for now amazing so i've added links to all of these images let's go ahead and click on done and then let's go ahead and actually publish this website and view it on a live page amazing so now we are on a live page viewing our gallery having a smooth scrolling text on our websites now you can go ahead and pause this as you can see when you hover on it it pauses and when you click on it it goes to that link that i added earlier so this is how you add a scrolling market text into to your website without writing a single line of code all the tools used here were all free including the website which is wix.com so feel free to sign up for a free website and use this tutorial to help you add a smooth moving animation just like this if this video was very helpful for you don't forget to smash that subscribe button give this video a like and always let me know in the comment section if you have any questions at all thank you very much and see you in the next tutorial